you're swimming around in some feces and, and all that, that's farm-raised tilapia. You know, that's not close to nature. What's close to nature is tilapia that's wild caught, or salmon that's wild caught. That's close to nature. Is it natural for um, you know, chicken to be cooped up all together where they can't even stand up because they're fat and being fed things that they're not really meant to eat and all this stuff? Like uh, in the movie Food Inc., if you haven't watched that, that's a good one to, to watch. Uh, that is not natural. It's not close to nature. Now, a free range chicken, that's closer to nature. Cows should not be consuming corn. They're not, there's some that are not made to do that. So, a, a cow should be grazing freely. That's close to nature. So, I think I've made the point that you want to stay as close to nature as possible. You know, it's, it's again, organic is important, and with organic come those things. But, you know, let's step above that. Let's, let's just not go and just buy anything that says organic. You can become toxic by buying food from Whole Foods. Yeah, I know. I, and it's my favorite place, believe me. It's, that place is awesome. But you, um, there are some things there that are still not the best for you. Dr. Shrew is going to talk about that uh, here in a minute. So just wanted to also touch in on this, because you'll see this on foods as well. Uh, vitamin A has beta carotene and retinol palmitate. These are synthetic forms of these vitamins. Vitamin B1 has thiamine hydrochloride. Uh, we discussed this last week, and thiamine mononitrate. Vitamin C is ascorbic acid. Vitamin D is DL-alpha tocalfo. These are all synthetic forms of these vitamins. That's not how they exist in nature. You will not find ascorbic acid by itself in nature. There's, there's nothing that contains only ascorbic acid. It's a part of the vitamin complex. So when you see it in something, it's been added to it. And that's not to discredit. You know, a little bit is okay. It can serve as a you know, safe preservative, if you will, of some sort, uh, a natural or more natural alternative to a preservative. But to load it up and say this is better than this because it's got ascorbic acid in it is not true, especially because at what cost have we added ascorbic acid? Uh, at the cost of taking out what's naturally found, natural vitamin C found in it. So that's, uh, that's what you want to be careful of. So a question comes up a lot, and I think I, does everyone have these? Or, okay, perfect. Fair enough. Yeah. So this post purification program booklet is something that's going to help start to reintroduce some of the foods. Like the question I always get is okay, now what? You know, I feel great. I'll do anything to feel it. Keep this up. What do I have to do? How am I, how am I supposed to eat? Uh, this is a great little kind of guide to continuing on this path. One of the um, one of the things that uh, a lot of people wonder is, uh, like, how do I start to? Obviously, I can't eat like this all the time. I can't eat like uh, three to four three to four ounces of meat twice a day. I mean, I want to eat a little more meat, and you probably should. So. In this booklet, it, it kind of talks about how to reintroduce these foods. Uh, one of the things that um, comes up a lot is food sensitivities and food intolerance, or uh, food allergies and food intolerances. Uh, it's a, there's a great explanation in there as to the difference between the two. And there's a great way of finding out what foods are affecting you uh, by, uh, and explains this well, introducing them one step at a time. Uh, for the most part, food allergies are quick. You eat something you are allergic to, um, you're gonna have an immediate response. Uh, that doesn't take a long time. Now, food intolerance can take a little longer, and so uh, this is where getting under and continuing under Dr. Schroeder's care is very important to me, because this is something that, you know, you need to kind of work it out. Uh, but it's got some, it's got the different food groups in there that you want to start reintroducing, like nuts, for example, grains, and figure out what, what, it, what works for you and what doesn't. So you've got a huge advantage though with Dr. Shrula and his NRT testing, which can get right to the point. But this also helps tremendously. So that's the food reintroduction. Um, one of the things in there that it says, you know, as, as foods that are very, very, um, are on that list of highly uh, intolerant foods for people is soy, um, and, and also that a lot of people are allergic to soy, but eggs is another one. 
And that's a shame because eggs are so nutritious, but it's, again, we've so adulterated the food supply that now it's, it's so easy, I mean, even for that, something like that, for people to become intolerant to. And like I said, I don't know what I'd do if I, I couldn't eat eggs in the morning. It's my favorite food. And some of you either know someone or you're self-suspect and you've got some kind of issues with this thing. It's an amino acid. It is an amino acid, and it's in nature, and it's in really good foods, and it's called gluten. There's a lot of myths about gluten, so I'm going to pass around something that will clear that uh, a little bit more up, um, and that ties into celiac disease. Yeah, sorry, thanks. That this ties into celiac disease, and that that's something that a lot of people uh, are um, deal with and have, uh, or know someone that, that deals with that, and. You know, there's an idea in the medical world that you can't really, you have, you're born with it, and you can't do anything about it, and that's baloney. I, you should, I mean, I, I, uh, I, I had a parent once tell me, you know, this child is very sick, and just came out of the hospital, and it's like, well, you know, nothing, um, they say really food isn't affected. And I, I know the child, and the child wakes up in the morning and has a Mountain Dew, uh, for breakfast, you know, and, and doesn't eat, does, you know, doesn't eat any, any, uh, any meats, so it's a vegan, so basically all she eats is pasta. That's it, pasta and pizza, and that's it. So I, I have a hard time believing that someone like that can't get better uh, from just cleaning, being more responsible about their diet. So this is, I think, a great information, and it relates also to some of our products and what's in our products. That question comes up a lot. Gluten and standard processed products and uh, what, what people respond to and, and, and all that. So, um, we, uh, Doc, is there anything else that you wanted me to cover? It's pretty good. I want to leave you with a little bit of encouragement. Um, that, like, th this, this really kind of works for me, but someone asked me, um, Early this week said, uh, "Why do you have so much?" I was like, "What? I don't have a lot. I don't have a lot at all." No, you do. Why do you have so much? No way. Got that? You got a lot of that? Like, no. Why do you have so much? And it finally, like, it finally got to the point where I got it. And and when I had to answer that question, if you consider what other people have, I mean, in this country, we have houses for our cars. Houses that are bigger than a lot of people's you know, houses, or where they live, or where they stay with, like you know, big families. You know, I, I studied in a third world country, and I can attest to that. We do. We have a lot. But the answer ultimately was this: we have a lot, so we can give a lot. And when it comes to what you've learned in this course, I want to really encourage you that you know, I know for some of you, you you know, you, it was a stretch to do this. Financially, you know, you've maybe had to sacrifice some other things to do this course. And I want to congratulate you for that, for being so proactive and taking, you know, your health into your own, you know, being accountable for your bodies and your health. But I also want to encourage you as you're, you're, you're going, you're ending this program and you feel great. You've got a lot of information that a lot of people don't have. And you've been given a lot, so you can give a lot. So I'd encourage you to pass this information along. You know, there, there's, this is how we can make an impact uh, in, in this world. And, you know, I used to, <laughs> I used to remember uh, when I'd go out to dinner, um, people would tell me, Dennis, please don't talk about nutrition. Just don't talk about nutrition because I would see someone eating something. How can I allow them to, 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 be, to, to eat something like, and think it's healthy? That's even worse. At least if they know they're eating something bad, that's cool. They know but not something they think is healthy, like soy and all that. Um, so I want to encourage you, pass this along. Get, get, get some people to come see Dr. Shirilla. People are suffering and dying needlessly because of simple things that just don't know. And they deal with so many things. Like, you know, adrenal fatigue is a huge thing, huge. I mean, that, that has like so many symptoms all over the place that you would never even suspect, suspect that that's the root cause. Liver issues. You know, one thing I didn't mention, um, 
that comes up. High fructose corn syrup, um, one of the things that they found, and this was actually based on a Princeton study, found that high fructose corn syrup causes fatty liver because fructose itself gets converted into, as a sugar, gets converted into fat in the liver. But when the liver's got to do that a lot, it, it, it stores the fat within the organ. And you have, and what do you, what do you see fatty livers with? Alcoholics, right? But people were eating a lot of sugar, same thing, and they also linked it to cardiovascular disease. So, you know, this is the kind of information that other people need to know about. They need to, we need to pass this along and uh, get people educated on this. And we got a great source here in, uh, in Dr. Shrilla and a good educator and also someone who could guide you through this process.